What's up guys, it's me, Packy, with the house, and today I'm filming a video about trying to just make a ball that didn't necessarily fit my game. I'm gonna try and change it up a little bit and show you guys how you can make a ball that you might not have really loved, might not have fit in your arsenal. I'm gonna try and change it up a little bit, but first, I'm gonna bowl one game out of box surface, show you guys kind of why it didn't fit in my lineup, and then I'm gonna change it up a little bit and show you guys how you can make a ball that you bought fit in your lineup in that spot that you really needed to. So uh, let's get to North Rock. One game out of box, one game I'm gonna shine it up a little bit, and uh, let's just get there and hopefully get to strike in game two. As always, guys, you know what to do. Comment down below what you think I'm gonna shoot, as well as, I mean, since you're down there, you might as well subscribe to the channel, but until then, I'll see you guys at North Rock. All right, so this game, fresh OB, nice and smooth surface. Well, that hooked early. Wild a hook. All right, so I'm gonna move a little right, see if it's still too slow from there. Moved a little right. I might have to move one more because that went super high flush. So one more. Let's see what I can do. One more. Kind of barely got the seven out. So that looked good, but it went a little high from a little straighter, a little flat from there. That's a pretty good shot. It's like hitting super flat. So there is my issue with this ball. Or it's like flat when I move in, and it hooks a little too early when I move left. Same spot, just try and rotate it a little bit. And it just gets off line. Yeah. I can rotate it, but I gotta be nice to it because it tried to hook too early on me. All right, so we're five frames in with the payback. Honestly, it just hooked a little early on me when I moved right and tried to get around it. When I get up the back, it creates that nice smooth arc, but the problem is with this surface out of box, it forces me too far right. So I think after this game, I'm gonna come in, like I said, I'm gonna smooth it up in the pro shop, shine it up just a little bit, not, not polish, just shine it up with like a three or 4,000 pad. And uh, that way it'll float through the fronts a little better and still give me that smooth shape that it's making. I just need a little more kick down lane. As you can see, when I move right, there's not a lot of kick down lane. And if I make a kick down lane, it kicks up front. So I'm gonna see what I can shoot, hopefully like 220 here, and then I'll take it to the pro shop and hopefully I can uh, get just a little quicker shape down lane. That was a good shot. I really gotta trick it with my hand. That are, the ones that are in are better because they, they really sit in that oil nicely. Move a little bit, see what happens. Pretty good, pretty good. I just have to be so nice to it at the bottom to get it to flow through that spot. Extra flat hit. The Messenger 7 looks cool, but it's really just like a bad shot or bad ball motion. It's a flat hit. It's a flat hit that you got lucky on. That's almost the same hit. It's like that close to being the same hit. Flat, flat, I'll take it. All right, 247 with this thing. There it is, little, little chalky, not too much. And now I'm gonna go to the pro shop. I'm gonna shine this thing up to about 3000 on the spinner. And then we will uh, bring it back and hopefully get a little sharper ball motion out of it. Stretch out that hook phase, stretch it out a little further down lane. So it's gonna be a little better on the house shot and it can really be a benchmark piece in my bag. So let's go to the pro shop and smooth it out. So 
So this is my all new shiny payback. I hit it with 3000 on the spinner in the pro shop, as you guys saw, and it is now brand new shiny. Hoping to get a little more length out of it and hoping I don't have to play quite as deep on the lane. Hoping I can play a little further left and get a little more snap out of it. So here we go. I can just keep going left. Just doesn't stop looking good. I would just never be able to play this angle with the other ball. Or with the other surface, excuse me. Five frames in, five for five. Yikes, you can see it. All right, so we have a fifth frame update. This ball has obviously made me more comfortable on the lane. I'm playing, you know, 12, 13 at the arrows. Honestly, I have no idea. Probably like 12 or 13 or 14 at the arrows instead of that deeper 18, 19, 20 angle where that early surface might pick up too soon and might get lazy down lane. This one definitely controls the pocket more often for me and it gives me a higher chance of striking. So hopefully you guys can see the difference and let's get this back half the game done, hopefully a 279. I'm 10 left of where I was with the surface on. Throwing it a little harder. Great shot. Missile in front. So far, flush. I gotta just keep chasing, keep chasing. So far up the lane. Sixty-eight on the make. <sighs> All right, so as you guys could see, it was just way better from that straighter angle. When I shined it up, I got to move way left. It was way more forgiving. And the misses that I had, you know, were more misses that I could move off. That A pin at the end, move maybe one right. You know, I, I kept chasing it left to see how much how straight I could play if it would look better and better going through the pins. And it did to the point where it went through the pins too high. A great game that last game with 268, you saw I had you know plenty of room out there. I missed a couple up lane, missed a couple left, and they all just crushed the pocket. So honestly, a great game, and that just shows you that you can change a ball's surface to make it work better for your game and where you want to play on the lane.